Yes. Mark Zuckerberg founded one of the fastest growing companies in the world, Facebook, and says none of this would have been possible without his own great education. Here's a rare look inside this very private life. Shy, wanted to remain anonymous guy. <laughs> It's morning in Palo Alto, California. While most people are eating breakfast, the CEO of what might be the fastest growing company of all time is learning Chinese. Now Priscilla and I are gonna go to China for a vacation at the end of the year, and, and she has had some family there. Mark's girlfriend, Priscilla, knew him long before his Facebook fame. They met on campus at a Harvard college party. Today, they live together in this modest home that they rent. This is just a study, and and this is the, the kitchen. Cameras have never been allowed here before. You'll rarely find Mark at home, though. He spends as much as 16 hours a day here at the company he founded eight years ago. How's it going? Hey, okay. The, the company is around 1,600 people, and we serve about 500 million people. Today, one out of every 14 people on the planet has a Facebook account. Move fast, take risks. It's okay to try big things. You're better off trying something and having it not work and then learning from that than having not done anything at all. So, I don't know, I just think that philosophy is very deeply ingrained here. Mark's road to Facebook started with a great education, from public school to boarding school to Harvard. I started Facebook when I was in college at a great university. And I have no doubt that if I hadn't had that opportunity, then I wouldn't be sitting here today. Well, thank you for letting us inside. You know, some people I undoubtedly are going to be criticizing the timing of uh, Mark's announcement because we know that there is a, an unauthorized movie that's coming out about Mark and Facebook. So what did you want to say about that? Oh, well, I mean, it's a movie. It's fun. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's... Um... You know, it's, it's, a lot of it is fiction, but, I mean, even the filmmakers will say that. You know, I mean, they're trying to build a, a good story. And, you know, I'm not going to promise you, I, this is my life, so I know it's not that dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, the, the, the last six years have been a lot of coding and focus and hard work. But, you know, maybe it would be fun to remember it as partying and all this crazy drama. So, you know, who knows? Maybe it'll be an interesting story. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I would just like to say that I know that you all have been planning this for a long time. Originally, we thought about making this announcement uh, around September 10th, and I said, well, I'm not on the air. And so the fact that you're doing it now and wanted to remain anonymous, I really appreciate you coming on and showing your face and stepping yeah, well, up with $100 million. Well, it's, it's what's best for Newark. It's what's best for the kids. We'll be right back. We'll be right back.